Hey guys, welcome back to Startup Central. So you probably heard that Giro already airdropped their token and the person who made the least amount of money with this airdrop made around $15,000. So we had a, a tutorial on how to do that on Giro or Giro. And if you follow that tutorial and you did it on time, then you probably earn $15,000 or more. Isn't that amazing? Only in crypto, guys. So today we're going to be discussing a new protocol that could eventually be uh, airdropping in the coming um, weeks or months. And it seems that, like that a lot of protocols on the Solana blockchain are going to be airdropping uh, in the first half of the next year. So you need to do a certain amount of things in, in able to qualify for the coming airdrops. Today, we're going to be talking about Camino Finance. And uh, this is one easy protocol to get into. And without further ado, let's get started. So would you like to receive a huge airdrop that could potentially be $15,000, $30,000, or even $100,000? Uh, considering that all you have to do is perform certain tasks uh, maybe stake some crypto and borrow or lend some crypto. It doesn't have to be a big amount, guys. Uh, and uh, you could, you know, 1,000x that money with these airdrops. So uh, I'm sure the answer is yes. If it is, do like this video and subscribe to the channel because in this video and in the upcoming videos, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to qualify for this airdrops. And today, again, we're going to be talking about one of these protocols that are uh, potentially going to be airdropping in the coming weeks. Uh, so I'm going to show you my browser so you can follow along. I'm actually going to go ahead and click on each thing that you need to know how to do that. So you can actually replicate that when you are done with this video. And hopefully you'll qualify also for the upcoming uh, yeah, airdrops. So with let's go to the browser. This is the main uh, screen or the main page of Camino, the Again, guys, make sure you don't uh, mistake the website because there are a lot of phishing scams actually on YouTube or on Google. People, people uh, and scammers who pay ads just to get you to connect your wallet to the wrong website. And if you do that, it's going to drain your tokens. So what I do, if I'm not entirely sure of the website, I go to either CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko look for the protocol, then look for that website and click there. I never Google, guys. Never Google the name of the protocol that you want to invest in or get an airdrop from because you might get scammed out of all your tokens. So um, right now, the, the website is Camino with a K. Again, guys, make sure K, Camino, K-A-M, sorry, K-A-M-I-N-O dot finance or Go to CoinGecko and look for this. So we're going to launch Camino, which is going to take us to this other page, which I have already logged into. So all you have to do is basically connect your wallet and it's going to create an account for you. So once you have done that, and it takes just one minute to do so, as long as you already have your wallet installed, if you don't have a wallet, I'm going to create another uh, video, uh, probably published today or tomorrow, where I'm going to show you it's so, so super easy how to install uh, Solana as the wallet and then uh, go ahead with the rest of the tutorial. But for now, I'm going to show you what this is. So Camino is um, a protocol that enables you to borrow or lend, provide liquidity, and they have this uh, beta multiply and long short. They're kind of bets on the market. Uh, and you can make some money with that, but you could lose money. So in this case, I don't want you to lose money. If you want to do that on your free time, on your dime, you're completely uh, invited to do that. Uh, how this airdrops work is you get a number of points. And by doing different tasks, you get more points. In the case of Jiro or Jiro, you need an amount of points to qualify, even though you had done everything else. If you didn't have enough points, you did not qualify. Now, Camino has not... Uh, explain how many points will be required to qualify for the airdrop. So the more things you do, the more points you get, the more uh, possible it is for you to get their airdrop. So I'm going to show you, and I, we're going to do it together right now, what you can do to start qualifying. So the first thing we're going to do is that we are going to supply Sol to this protocol to get the first points. 
Uh, by supplying, you're basically lending money, in this case, soul, to someone. And that someone is going to borrow your soul at a higher APY, so though with a higher interest rate. Interest rate. Um, so, and actually, it's the opposite. It's, it's cheaper to borrow than supply. I don't know why. I mean, it makes no sense, but it doesn't matter. What Camino says is that the loans are over-collateralized. So that means that if you are borrowing, let's say, five souls, you need to leave in their escrow a lot more than five soul. So that way there is a warranty of them paying you back. Uh, I've been lending in different protocols for uh, two cycles already, and I've never had any problems with not being paid. Um, I mean, there are a lot of scams, but the one I've been using, Venus, in the past cycle, that was on BSE, the Binance Smart Chain, and right now on Camino, uh, I haven't had any problem. Now, is this 100% safe? Nothing in crypto is 100% safe. Uh, I wish they would provide uh, with information about um, audits, about their uh, contracts, because sometimes we see there's exploits in these protocols. So I would not bet my entire home by staking here, but so far uh, they're been solid. So let's go ahead again and click supply. We're going to provide um, with a number of soul. Let's say we're going to provide them with two soul and a deposit of this. So when we do this, we start earning interest on this soul. So it's not just a matter of staking and forgetting about this until the airdrop. You're going to be earning something. It's not amazing. It's around 6%. So in this case, it's 5.91%. Um, but, you know, it's something. Then you have to read their um, terms and conditions uh, that you have read their documentation, under understand their uh, risks. Uh, you are aware of the borrower risk you take when you're lending your assets. I have read this and it's what just I just explained, basically. Um, their liquidation mechanism which does not apply necessarily to us because we are not borrowing, we are lending. Uh, so if you borrow, you can get liquidated if the token you are borrowing uh, goes down and then the, your collateral is not enough to back it. Um, yeah, so blah, blah. You're welcome to read this documentation. We're not going to do it in this video because it would take a long time. So I'm going to click I confirm. Complete deposit, and it's going to take a little while, and then we're going to see the soul. We're going to, well, I'm actually seeing my wallet, and it's asking me to confirm. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and confirm. I don't, I don't know why it doesn't show this on um, the browser, but I just did, and it says deposit success, successful. I now can see under loan health that I, I've lent to sold to them, and I'm going to get an APY of 5.91%. So I'm not here for the APY. In the last cycle during DeFi summer, I could get amazing APYs right now. It's not the case. And um, like some central banks are providing much better returns, but we're doing this because we want to qualify for the airdrop. So I just did one of these actions. Now I could borrow the same soul and qualify a little bit more. I don't like borrowing unless I have a real use case for that money. So, um, while well, USDC is not that expensive, I don't know if, if the interest rate is variable. So if it's variable, you might get a 2.98% right now, but then you could be surprised with a 80% APY uh, and you could get liquidated. So before, borrowing i will make sure and i will let you know in another video whether the um interest rate is fixed or not if it's not fixed guys don't play with this because it's too risky so um you can also provide liquidity these are pools where um you could have a potential impermanent loss so if i'm sure if you're uh, newer to the cryptosphere impermanent loss is Okay, let me, let me explain first what is providing liquidity. So every time there is a trade between one token and another token, there needs to be money on both sides. So if, let's say you're going to be exchanging SOL for USDC. Uh, there needs to be a pool of money both with USDC and with SOL. So when you make the trade, the opposite part of that pair 
uh, can buy or sell the token that you're willing to exchange. So who provides this liquidity? Well, that's you and I. Um, and you get compensated for this. In this case, you get paid uh, an annual APY of 7%, 4.7%, which is not a lot. But again, that's not why we're here. So um, we're going to provide... Okay, another thing you need to know about providing liquidity, that every time that one token gets farther away, either on the upside on the, or on the downside from the other token, you get a, a something called impermanent loss. So that means that, let's say, this protocol split your amount of money in half. Half is going to be going to one token and half is going to be going to another token. So when you provide this and let's say one of those tokens go further, it loses 50% of its value, then half of your money, the part that it belongs to that token, is, has suffered a loss. They call it impermanent loss, and it's impermanent because if that token goes back up and it pairs back up with that uh, other token, that you're not losing money. But some tokens tend to you know, go higher or lower. In both ways, you can lose money. So in this case, there are, if you're providing um, liquidity to, let's say, USDC and USDT, that pair, you're not going to be losing a lot of money because, I mean, they're uh, stable coins and they're pegged to $1. So although they might depeg a little bit, it's just a tiny fraction of percentages. But if you are providing, let's say, let's see if there's something riskier. So MSOL, which is basically SOL, uh, ETH, so if we have seen that it has not risen as much as Sol, at least so far, so Sol went up and then by that virtue, you are already getting impermanent loss. Usually when a pair has more impermanent loss, you get compensated a lot with larger APY, so larger interest rates. So in this case, I was mentioning that pair. Well, the interest rate you get to provide this liquidity is 50%. So now we're talking about, I know, some compensation. If you have this pair for a year, then you're going to, on top of, of um, whatever price your tokens go up, you're going to get compensated 50% on the money you provide. So that way you are compensated by, you know, by the virtue of taking that risk, you get compensated for that. So MSOL against USDC, you could get 106%. Uh, Gyrosol or Gyrosol against USDC, 113%. So that could double your money in one year. But again, guys, in well, hopefully in one year, we're still going to be in a bull market. Uh, but you need to take into account that impermanent loss. With that said, guys, um, what we want is if we have two stable coins, even though we have a low uh, interest rate, so let's say BSOL and SOL, they're not always pegged one to each other, but the risk is lower, and that's why you're seeing a smaller APY. Same thing with MSOL and GIROSOL, or uh, let's see, GIROSOL and BSOL. So they're almost priced the same, so that's why you're getting a low APY. In this case, I don't mind uh, staking BSOL and SOL. The impermanent loss is tiny, so I'm going to stake here just for the sake of this exercise, uh, and I'm going to stake, let's say, two SOL. So that's Let's see, for some reason it's not allowing me to type two soul. And I'm going I'm not gonna stake half of this. So let's try typing two again. I don't know why it don't allow me. Okay, there we there we go. Apparently there was something wrong with my keyboard. So I've typed two and I'm now I'm gonna deposit says it tells me deposit over the strategy cap. So what this is telling me is that they're not taking any more soul, neither be soul for this vault. So I could either go find something else, which is similar. So let's try this one, Jairo Sol and Sol, this pair. And I'm again, again, I'm going to type two and deposit. And let's see, apparently this is going to go through. Let's see what happens. And again, guys, if it's two Sol, two, sorry, two tokens that are priced almost at the same price, then it's not going to be as risky as two pairs that are really far from each other. So um, I'm going to confirm. I saw this in my wallet. It was asking me whether I wanted to stake two souls, and I said yes. And in a moment, this part where it says confirming one transaction is probably going to tell me it's it's been done. 
So now I have done two different actions on Camino and I'm on my way of uh, getting points. And these points, again, guys, once they decide to airdrop, uh, you're going to be qualifying the more actions you do. Now, how do you know if this protocol is going to be airdropping? One, you could follow their Telegram. Two, you can subscribe to Startup Central. I'm going to let you know as soon as I know. And the other thing uh, is once you see points, those points, normally they, if you click here, they're going to tell you they're going to qualify you to get the airdrop. So that's what you want. Um, and I'm going to be showing you in the coming days more protocols. And I'm going to teaching you how to do uh, those actions. So while this um, is confirmed, I don't know why it's taking so much. I am sure that uh, Solana might be congested because all the people coming here to get the airdrops. Um, you can multiply or do long short. So long short is basically you're saying, I expect the price of Sol or one of these tokens to go up or down. And if you're right, uh, you get paid. Uh, so this is like betting, guys. Some people love this. I don't. I prefer to be safer and uh, trying to increase the odds of making money. Uh, but some people love to gamble. So this is might be for you. I'm not going to do this. Uh, and multiply. I've not clicked here. Uh, it's still in beta. And that's something that also sounds iffy to me. If you click on portfolio. Oh, let's see. We can open a new tab. Uh, on portfolio, I'm going to be able to see what I've done in Camino. So it's interesting because after you do some actions on all these protocols, you're going to be trying to remember what you did where. So in this part in portfolio, it's going to tell us what we've done. So right now, I don't know, Solanus is really slow. Um, I've been trying to do this with different protocols and uh, all of them have been slow. So right now it's telling me that I've lent uh, on Sol. I haven't earned interest because I've just did it. Um, and it's telling me I have two souls invested with them. Uh, so apparently the other transaction is still waiting, but this is deposit fail. So this is Solana right now. Uh, this means again, guys, a lot of people are coming into the, into the blockchain. And this means that if you have soul, soul is going to go up because a lot of people after learning that, um, uh, Jairo uh, dropped around $50,000. Uh, a lot of people want to qualify for these tokens. So why is Solana so, so good for airdrops? Because they are creating a lot of new projects and new projects don't have tokens. And the possibility, possibility of you getting tokens uh, because of these protocols that are new is higher. If you go to Ethereum or the Binance Smart Chain, uh, a lot of protocols already airdrop. A lot of you haven't. They have an airdrop. They might not be planning to do so, but protocols in the Solana blockchain know that people are looking uh, for this and they're taking the opportunity. The same thing you are taking the opportunity to get airdrop. These protocols want to be used and known and have a larger number of people to use their protocols because the more the more they're used, the more money they earn. So that's basically, if you're asking yourself, why would they give you money for free? It's because of this. Uh, a lot of tech companies are valued in terms of how many users are adopting that technology. So this is not different from that. I hope this video was useful to you guys. Uh, if it was, do like this video and subscribe to the channel because I will be showing you how to qualify for more airdrops. And of course, we're going to be discussing in uh, different videos uh, price predictions and all that stuff that you love and the reason why you come to this channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.